Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms, and today I want to answer that often asked question that I get. Um, how? What is your liquid culture recipe? How do I make liquid culture? What is the liquid in the jar? Right, so this should be a pretty easy video to do. The recipe is pretty straightforward. I will credit the basics of this recipe to Lenny Rockwell. Um, so credit him with uh, you know the, the, the basics of this, but um, I do it just slightly different just for convenience sake. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to know is that the, the basic media for liquid culture cultivation is just sugar water, right? Um, it's pretty low concentration at what I make. If you sip it a little bit, it ends up just being like um, barely sweet. Like you can taste the sweetness, but it's just really, really barely able to be even be tasted. With that, the recipe I used based on Lenny's recommendation was dry malt extract, sugar, and corn dextrose, corn sugar. Um, this recipe has really changed things for me and helped me. I'm having way better growth results with this. Everything's growing in way faster than the original that I was using which is like honey or caro or um, I don't know, basically anything else that I've used other than the Shroom Supply Premix. But this is so much cheaper than the Shroom Supply Premix that I just make my own now. Um, I still recommend if you're only making small amounts, it's probably easier just to buy the Shroom Supply Premix. Um, I'll have the link for that down below as well as for what I use here. Now, the, the recipe just goes like so. I use one pound of dry malt extract and four pounds of corn dextrose uh, to. <clears throat> um, sorry, I was getting I was getting ahead of myself. I use that for for my uh, premix. So you take these two and you just open them up and I pour them in. I use whey protein containers because that's what I you know I drink a whey protein shake every morning. So I've always got these big plastic airtight bottles laying around. So what I do is I just open these. Pour them in, close it up, and then just shake that bottle hard, right? Just shake it all up. Now, after you have your premix, it gets, it's just as easy going forward. Um, I tend to use a gram scale, and I highly suggest that they're cheap on Amazon. I can put one um, in the link down below. But uh, you have your gram scale, you take your premix, and you take 20 grams of premix and add it to 500 milliliters of water, put uh, in a wide mouth jar, typically a quart jar, um, and this will, that's, this will make up roughly 40 to 50 10 milliliter syringes. So you take your 20 grams, you put it in, your 500 milliliters of water, pour that in. I always add solids first and then liquids later. And you have your stir bar and you have your lid, much like the, I highly suggest either buying them from us or making your own in the same style from the video before. And <clears throat> you then just close that up and put it in the pressure cooker. I don't do any mixing. I don't do any dissolving. It will dissolve in the pressure cooker. Now, that's, yeah, I cook it for at 15 PSI for 30 minutes at a Presto, 45 minutes if I'm using an All-American. I don't know why. The All-American takes so much longer, even though it's built up to pressure, but that is just what I do. My liquid tends to have a slightly amber color to it. Sometimes on a harder cook, it'll get a darker amber. And then sometimes, like I don't like it if it looks crystal clear. I usually find that I have more problems with the crystal clear looking premixes. So I try to stay away from that. I try to give it a decent cook. Uh, caramelizing your sugars is not gonna have a terrible effect. Um, little tip to add is that you could add some pH down to make your, your liquid a little bit more acidic if you're growing something like shiitake. Something like oysters, like harder water, so you can do some, uh, you don't, typically you don't have to do anything with tap water. Um, you can do a little bit of, so you can typically do a little bit of pH down to make your liquid a little bit more acidic for shiitake. Um, or you can use a little bit of pH up if you wanna make it a little bit more basic. Um, I don't suggest doing that you know, your first time around. You're going to want to play with that. I wouldn't do it with your very first syringe that you've ever got. Most shiitake, like if I sell a shiitake, it, is, it has been acclimated to liquid culture. Uh, and 
I just use tap water. I don't use spring water. I don't use RO water. I actually like the mineral content. It does leave a little bit of cloudiness sitting in the bottom of the jar. Um, but the mycelium picks that up and it, for, it forms, you know, it, it clings to it. I, I don't have any problems with it cloudying the water after a few days. Um, so I take my, my premix that has had the water added to it in my jar sealed, cook it at 15 PSI for 45 minutes, cool it overnight, and then it is ready to use in any of the manners that I've shown you or you know anyone else on YouTube has. It, it is uh, probably one of the most basic and um, I'm going to be honest, I think that the, the, your, your type of sugar is going to be less important than your concentration of sugars. I know people use molasses, caro, honey, etc. Um, almost all of those can be found at grocery stores and don't have to be bought at brewing supply stores or uh, Amazon. But uh, uh, if you want what I have found to be the best results and what I personally use, it is one part malt extract, four parts corn dextrose, and that is it. No other additives. Uh, unless I am doing a very specific media for certain types of mushrooms, usually experimental and nothing else on that. So with that, why don't uh, we just do a little bit of B-roll and call it a good, guys. So as always, y'all, please hit that like button, hit subscribe. It really helps me when you hit the subscribe button. Uh, I've noticed that a ton of you guys keep coming back and watching my videos but still aren't subscribed. So get that subscription and you'll get notifications when we're going live. I know a lot of people have you, uh, a lot of you have complained about not being able to see my live streams when they're live. So uh, if you're subscribed, you oftentimes get alerts when we're doing a live stream. So uh, please do all that, and as always, y'all keep swimming culture.